While repairing the scientist's AC unit, Bruce Bailey was handed a dict and vanished. He woke to find himself trapped on another world, in a reality that was not his own, finding out that every 12 hours he can push the button and go somewhere new. His only guide on this journey is Tim, an AI made of nanobots in his blood who appears in the form of a hologram that only Bruce can see and hear. And so, Bruce Bailey finds himself porting from one reality to the next, striving to do what's right and hoping each time that the next push of the button will be the port home. They taste like farts, if you ask me. Well, that's because you ain't had it prepared right. Like, like, like possum, for example. Well, that's, that's just got to stay out for like a day, at least. Now, most folks don't understand that. <laughs> I got shit. Tell the passengers that you got a shit. No, you dummy. <laughs> that we're going to make a stop. Hey, we're making a stop. Whoa, <laughs> hang tight. Uh, make it quick, Clem. I don't like these parts. Oh, settle down. We'll be in Santa Fe before you know it. Oh, oh sweet mother of Lincoln. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. What is it, Clem? Holy shit! Where are we? Oh, I can help you with that. We're in the New Mexico Territory. The year is 1886. We're just two miles outside of Santa Fe. We gotta do something, Tam. There should be a sheriff in town. I hope you don't mind me taking your hat. You're probably in a better place now anyways. And you, I'm sorry I scared you while you was pooping. It's the Wild West, Bruce. Shit happens. Don't worry, me and Tim are gonna head into town, see if we can find that sheriff, tell him what happened here. Let's go, Tim. 
Other way, Bruce. Did you call me cross-eyed pig fucker? I said you're a cheat! Anyone else? the attention of the apropos authorities post haste why are you talking like that bruce that's how people talk back then tim <sighs> what kind of pussy ass way of talking is that you look like a man want to try again cocksucker a couple of bandits murdered four people in a stagecoach outside of town <laughs> how far away a couple miles yeah on the road well that ain't my jurisdiction that ain't my problem. Another whiskey. People were murdered! Don't you understand? The first 48 hours of any murder investigation are the most important. I said get. Does nobody believe in justice in 1986? Well, it's... 1886, and justice in this time is much different than it was in your era. I believe in justice. Justice and gold. Who the hell are you? My name's Mando. I can help you out with your problem, ma'am, for a fair price. This guy is a gun for hire. These two bad dudes killed a whole wagon full of people on the road outside of town. And I'm sure they'll do it again. But I don't have any money to pay you. Well, you know, I don't have any business with your justice. Wait, Tim, when was gold discovered on Canyon Road? Oh, that gold was discovered in 1893. It was discovered by William Johannes McRoy. Hey, okay, good, that was five years from now. Mando, come here, I know where gold is. Gold? Where? On Canyon Road. Once we get justice, I'll take you out to where the gold was discovered. Or, or will, where it will be discovered by you. How do I know you ain't full of shit? Like some Reno rim runner. Here, take this. This is my dick. It's the most important thing that I have. Bruce, what are you doing? The right thing. Once justice is served, I'll take you to where the gold is and show you where it is in exchange for my dick. All right, but know this. Anybody tries to stab the Mando in the back, coffin maker gets a whole lot more work. Now let's go check out that massacre. Other way, Bruce. Drivers, kill the 
riders. Come back in the morning and take the coach. Evil sons of bitches. That's sick. Strange thing is, they always know the stagecoach's schedule. Bruce, it's almost time to port. I gotta see this through, Tim. Besides, Mando's got my dick. Hey, Mary Todd Lincoln. Let's go. for a closer look. You and your uh, imaginary friend stay here. I got a bad feeling about this, Bruce. Hi, Sheriff. Oh, shit, look! Oh! You left a witness, you big fuck. I told you I heard something. Never mind that. Your other idiot brother, Pete, he overheard the witness. Talk about he knows where there's more gold. That's just more gold for us, Sheriff. You mean more gold for me? Answer for sheriff. Suppose you think you're the <clears throat> one to make me pay for all that. No, I'm just here to kill you. <laughs> Wait, are we doing what I think we're doing? Think you're fast enough? No better time to find out. Holy shit, we are doing what I think we're doing. Hold up, guys, wait one second. Oh, shit. Mando, is there bullet? Can you tell if there's bullets in my...
The sheriff killed my wife back in 83. She was down by the river doing her laundry. The Sunday whites. The sheriff was evacuating his own bowels upstream. Thought he'd do a little target practice shooting his little floaty turds. A stray bullet ricocheted off a rock and hit my dear Elizabeth. Right square between the tits. Last words sputtering out of her bloody mouths. Man. Go. I never knew what she meant to tell me. I took the name Mando in honor, my dear Elizabeth. I don't see much point in using it now. Guess not. But, uh, thanks. I'm getting out of here. Wait! Oh! Mando! The map! For the gold! Thanks. Good luck. Oh. <laughs>